right guys, Anthony, I'm back. Um, this seems to be the easiest fix for this Evanston um, four person screened in tent. As we saw in the other part, there's part of the uh, front vestibule that's exposed to the weather, you know, if it rained out. Um, and so what you see I did here, I took a, I had a six by eight tarp in the garage uh, that I took and I took four ABS tent pegs. I took some cheap cordage that I had laying around, not even, you know, power cord or anything. This is a cheap wax type cordage. Uh, I always try to keep a, a pack of these tent pegs in spare, as spares. This is, these are Coleman nine inch tent pegs in ABS plastic and brown. I basically took the tarp on each corner, tied some cordage, pegged it down there, pulled it just tight enough to come over the top flap. I could probably fix that a little better. Um, and I did the same thing on the other side. Again, cordage, ABS peg, and then I took two more 10 pegs, made a little loop with the cordage right there, pegged it out. There could probably do a better job, get it a little tighter. Um, but if you had like, a, I would say a, probably an eight by 10 tarp would be better, a little bit bigger. It'll cover the screen a little bit better, but this would be your uh, best bet, quickest fix to um, fix this uh, problem with water getting in. If you had a little bit bigger tarp, you could slope the angle a little bit more. Perhaps um, on this front part here, use a, you know, a short trekking pole and do it that way so the, the tarp was raised up a little bit. That way you can get in, you can still get in and out of the tent. Um, you can see today it's pretty windy. Um, it hasn't rained. I was waiting for some rain this weekend, but it hasn't rained. But uh, this would do uh, the trick with a couple little touch-ups. Um, I think this would be your quickest answer for those that have asked the question uh, to me on how that would work. The only other thing I could suggest is you pull the, um, you know, the vestibule in. If it rains out, you pull it in. But that wouldn't help you much if you needed to store gear out there. So there you go, guys. The tarp uh, is, seems to be the easiest fix that I can come up with. If you come up with any other ideas, let me know. But uh, if you carry an 8x10 tarp with your Evanston tent, um, you'd be good to go. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think. Anthony signing off, stay ready.